Hi everyone, welcome to my vlog in which I'm currently exploring different aspects of cooperative learning in physical education. Over the last 30 plus videos I've explored the model from team building and the five elements to a number of different approaches and structures. In this subset of videos I'm asking what happens if we focus on cooperation itself as the learning aspiration and not the structure for learning in physical education. Please remember however that while these videos are scripted they're captured in one take with no editing so maybe a little rough and ready. A temporal element. I previously advocated, with the help of Mikhail Kavenestat, for educative, communal, situational and directional elements to our use of cooperative learning in physical education. Today I'm concluding this mini-series by asking you to reconsider the temporal or progressive or chronological perception we have of learning and ask that we allow learners and learning to have a more open-ended perspective in mind. Jimmy wanted us to dissolve the idea that, come, that time comes in segments that arrive one after another i.e. the past has already come, the future is yet to be, and we are experiencing the present. I remember watching a Kevin Costner film, I think it was Kevin Costner, once, and he sat in a car and turning to his young companion said, welcome to my time machine. I'm paraphrasing here, but bear with me. The young man next to him said, eh? and Costner looked behind him and said, that's the past, this is the present, indicating the cab, and looking out the front window said, and there's the future. Where would you like to go? I don't ever recall asking that question at the start of a lesson, let alone a unit of work or a school year. When I start my day, I often have plans where I'd like to be at the end of the day, or the end of the week, or the end of the year, and the things I'd like to do. I write my to-do list and always try and include some likes and not just some musts. I think about what I've done previously and my dreams, and I plan the day. It doesn't always work, but then I start again. I think backwards, forwards, and look at the day and make my plans. We don't, in my opinion, do that enough in education. We are caught up with where we have to be, what we have to teach and what kids have to learn. But if we started with less of a vision of where we wanted to go, if we abandoned tradition and avoided creating units of work with learning and subject matter predefined often years in advance, then we could allow the class to map out their own direction based on the needs that they have. This is not a roll out the ball but pathfinding to destinations unknown. This is pioneer teaching, and while it's quite scary, and maybe we might, like Icarus, fly a little too close to the sun, we'd also avoid another potential fate of Icarus, which was to fly too close to the sea and lose the capacity of his wings to give him lift, and consequently also fall. Perhaps we've been playing things too safe. Let's aspire for the heights of Icarus and take a few risks. Beats more of the same. That's it for now. I hope it was worth your while. For more content, please visit my blog at www.peprn.com. Thanks for listening. Stay safe and catch up with you soon. Bye.